Hey guys, it's me. Listen, there was a catastrophic failure with the thumb drive that had almost, well, had all the scripts for this week's show. That failed right before I was going to start filming. So, the show this week is tanked. Now, I did manage to record something very briefly for everybody so that there would at least be a show that comes up this time. It's going to be shorter than normal, and then I'm going to have to get a new thumb drive, and a lot of stuff for this show I'm going to have to rebuild from scratch because a lot of it has been destroyed. So, um, yeah. And if I look sweaty, it's because it's 105 degrees in here, and I'm dying. Literally dying to bring you this show. Anyway, there isn't going to be an intimate questions. There isn't going to be a shout out and there isn't going to be an outro section this week, mainly because all of them have been lost in the digital whateverness. So sorry about that, guys. And uh, next week, new show. And uh, hopefully there's not going to be any problems and all of it will be up. Um, so thanks for your patience, guys. And uh, here's that thing I was talking about. Oh, hello there. Something happened this week. Well, by something, I mean the thumbnail drive that had the script for this week, which was going to address the what is destroying YouTube tag that's been going around, got erased. Along with a whole lot of other really important stuff that Opinionville needs to do the show. So, instead of not giving you guys anything to see, um, we're going to improvise one. So we're going to take a topic that everybody's been talking about on the Facebook and we're going to have the guys comment on it. Ad lib. Yep, it's pretty much YouTube death. So without further ado, I would like to apologize for the lack of a scripty type script thing and I would like to introduce the topic. Holy crap. Are you serious? Okay, it's more than apparent that she is either crazy, or she hates herself, or she hates white people, or she's all doing it for some kind of long con. I'm going with long con. I know long cons, and that seems like a long con. I'm not really quite sure who she's conning or why, I mean, didn't you ever see that movie from the 1980s about that white dude who pretended to be black so that he could go to an all-black school because he couldn't get into a white school? It was like that, except longer and uh, more deceptive, and she was lying to everybody, I guess. What? Oh, um, people want to know how I know about long cons. Well, I... Um... Studied them. I've never perpetrated any. I don't care what the newspaper says. All of my cons have been legitimate. I mean, all of my schemes have been legitimate. Dang it. All of my plans. Is there a word that I can use that doesn't sound like I'm shifty and underhanded? All of my projects. Oh, no wonder businessmen use that word. I like that. Businessmen got up there and said, all of my con jobs, they, they would get run out of town on a rail. But they say things like, all of our projects. Well, all my projects are absolutely legitimate and benefit me. I mean, they benefit the first funda fundamentalist monstertarian church. I mean, oh, I really miss the script. There is no fucking way I'm touching that topic. Are you insane? That thing's a powder keg. I mean, no matter what I say, people are going to get upset. The racists will get upset. The SJWs are going to get upset. The, I don't know, other Ken will get upset. I think Tumblr just found a whole new way to identify itself. People who feel that they've been born the wrong race. Which is, I don't know. I don't know if I can even comment on it without people getting all upset, but I mean, um, oh, well, let me just say this. If you want to pretend that, oh, I can't use the word pretend, that insults people who think that they were born like a platypus or something, like, are they called platypus kin? I don't know. 
One of the reasons why I never comment about stuff like this is because I never know what mine I'm stepping on. It's like the entire battlefield is made out of mines, so that no matter where you step, bang, mine. It winds up shutting you up, which is what I'm gonna do. In fact, I'm gonna think about season two of Daredevil. Jeez, maybe that's why everyone likes trivia instead of talking about pertinent issues, because there's always someone who gets sand up their crack because someone used the wrong term, or someone feels that they're not being legitimized, or someone feels that their way of identifying themselves is not being taken seriously. Well, you gotta give society time to adjust, all right? Well, I mean, we haven't even gotten over the whole people not being slaves thing. So how are we supposed to adjust to people who think they're dragons or people who think that they're living rocks, which I'm sure is a thing somewhere? Oh man, I can feel my blood pressure going up already thinking about it. Uh, let's talk about Micronauts. When is there gonna be a Micronauts movie? That was a Marvel property, right? I want my Micronauts movie. Oh man, when I was a little kid, I loved staring at those pictures of sweet, sweet marionette. <sighs> Oh no. Was that sexist? I don't care! Marionette was hot! Do you think that there is a small group of people who think that they were born, that they have the soul of a micronaut? Which is, I guess, possible now? I mean, people really like the movie Toy Story, so I suppose that if people saw Toy Story, then they could think that toys actually are alive, and if they're alive, then that means that they could have the soul of a toy, which means that there's someone out there who thinks that they're a marionette. In which case, I'm probably invalidating their feelings about stuff. This is impossible. Can we just shut down YouTube and replace it with a podcast? You like those things, don't you? Stop staring at me and answer the question! It's your fault we don't have a script this week! Just as with everything that's getting covered on Facebook and in the media, I'm sure that there is a very, very different story that actually happened instead of a bunch of people pontificate, pontificate. We are editing this, right? Instead of a bunch of people who aren't her or aren't any of the people involved pontificating about what they think is actually going on. In fact, I'm kind of sick and tired of people offering up their opinions as if they know something. Nobody knows anything. Nobody's her. Nobody's the group that she's in. No one grew up with her. No one knows what she was like when she was growing up. We don't even know what her parents are like. Are her parents racist? Was she raised racist? Maybe she hated her parents so much that she wished she was black to the point in which she actually believed that she was. Either way, we're not gonna know. So st I really wish people would stop pretending that they know that she has psychological problems or you know, they speculate, oh well, she must have some sort of self-hatred or oh well, you know, you act out a lot sexually so that must mean that you were abused sexually as a child. Um, well, a little bit of my own psychology slipped into my own diatribe. I am perfectly happy with who I am, what I am, and who I do it to, and it doesn't have anything to do with my upbringing. I had a very, very normal upbringing for a half-goat, half-monster who had a goat for a mother that lived in a children's petting zoo, and a father who was a very popular children's television monster who liked cookies and who was never around. Oh man, now I'm starting to doubt my own psychology. I'm trying to figure out how any of that links up to my own sexual deviancy. And by deviancy, I mean that in the best possible way. I mean... Oh. We can never lose the script again. I think that there's one thing that a lot of the news outlets and Facebook aren't covering in regards to this story. Something that's staring everybody right in the face and that everyone's ignoring on purpose. And that simply is that she's a shapeshifter. That's right. How come no one is willing to say the S word on public media or on the internet or anywhere for that matter? Am I the only person that's noticed that she's changed skin tones? That her hair is different? She went from a blonde to a brunette and that's impossible. 
Now, I know a lot of people are probably going to say, well, she probably just dyed her hair, but that's the easy way out. That's you trying to make yourself feel safe because you don't want to admit that there are shapeshifters living among us. Well, now one of them's been caught, and I wouldn't be surprised that sometime very soon, the government is going to 86 her. That's right. She's going to disappear. I don't think they'll kill her, but they may study her. Well, they'll have their very own shapeshifter right there to study. And then we'll have army guys who can shapeshift. And you know what that means? I don't know what that means. Wait a minute, let me do some uh, calculating here. If the army guys could shapeshift, then they could be almost anywhere. And then they could... <gasps> They could declare war on us at any time. They could be around us right now. We don't know if they already have the secret technology. You, you, background. Are you an army guy? Oh, what if it's my shadow? What if it's me? Holy crap, I've got to run away from myself.